Katia V5. We are within general tissue design and we're going to take a look at the feature entitled Remove Face. So this is within the general tissue design workbench. And if I will start this, we're going to see that we can select a face to remove and a face to keep. And also we have a support input over here, but this cannot be added manually. So for example, if I will want to remove the face over here, so the small one, we're going to see that the support will be automatically added. In this case, will be Revolut 1. If I will click OK, we're going to see that that will be deleted. So we're not going to have that face, even though if I will enter the sketch over here, we see that that resulting face has been created by this 10 millimeter segment that has been revolved. If I will go over here and I will choose to have this removed, so this will be the tangent arc that will go all the way over here and afterwards we're going to have a 10 millimeter segment. If I will click OK, we're going to see that now this will be converted like this. So we're going to have that section defined as a cylinder. This is how we can use remove face. But the problem is over here on the other side, I only have a tangent arc. And if I will try to remove that, everything will be selected in pink. And if I will click OK, we're going to see that we're going to have the following error. So the final body cannot be closed after removal of selected faces. So we are required to modify the input body. Keep in mind that you cannot have faces being removed like this. So usually you have to segment that into multiple faces in order to have those deleted. And just like previously, if we're just going to delete this arc over here. If I will go over here and faces to be removed, also the one on the top, we're going to see that the same wording will be appearing over here. But if I will only have that large section over here, which is currently in red and with, with that er error, just like we saw previously, that face will be deleted and the newly shape will look like this. So I have over here another file prepared in order to highlight remove face over here. For example, we have this extracted surface. If I will go and remove the inner face over here, if I will click OK, we're going to see that the output of that will be the creation of that. This has been created like this because we have over here a solid body, which is solid body 2. And that has been used to extract that surface. And this one over here was created afterwards. And this is an extruded fill over here. And this is why Katia understood by that deleting that face will just add material over there, even though we have now overlapping material with, uh, with this fill over here, with this extrude and fill, because we have two different operations over here. We can also do some changes to remove face. Also, if I will go with remove face and I will only select this face over here, which is inwards, we see that we have the boundary with another face over there, one over here and on the sides as well. If I will click OK, we will have the following problem, just like previously. But if I will select the one over here, even though we now visually see this sitting on the cube on the bottom, they are not linked. So again, on the bottom, we have a different um, extrude. Therefore, if I will just have that removed, we're going to see how that will look. I also have the solid body over here converted, so I will just hide that. And the newly resided face will have that face inwards. Let me just undo that. So this will do undo for that. And I want to hide the solid body over here. If I will go with remove face, for example, this one, again, this will be inwards. If I will click OK, we're going to see the new result shape will look like this. So we're still going to have the side fillet over here, but we have that 
that face over here removed and it will be linked to, to that one. We can also use this, for example, faces to be removed. I want this one. And we see over here we have the more button and this will give us the option to do a limit. For example, we have over here a plane position like this. So for the faces to be removed, I can also um, right click over here and do a face limit. I want this to be limited for this face, which will be colored now with blue. And the limiting element will be the plane. So we see the orientation, the arrow is over here. If I will click OK, again click OK, we're going to have the same warning. So this will not be possible. But if I will change the orientation of that to be outwards, with that same selection, we have this limit set to, to the blue face over here. If I will click OK, again, we're going to have the same, um, the same error over here. If I will create the same onto the other side, the limiting will be the other plane. Again, pointing outwards. If I will click OK, we're going to have the same, the same error. In order to change that orientation, you can always click on the faces to be limited and have them moved, for example, inwards. And now if both of those will be inwards, we're going to see that this will be the final output of the remove face. If, for example, I will remove the one on the right and I will click OK, we're going to see that again we're going to have an error. So keep in mind that if you are using the faces to limit you need to pay attention to, to those limits now if i will unhide that uh, again we're gonna see how the part will look so this feature is quite useful remove faces for example if i want to remove this one which will be inward again this will not be able to have that deleted but if I just want to delete the one over here, again, the same problem. So keep that in mind that not all faces can be deleted like that. And you usually need to, to pay attention to this. For example, over here, we know that this one can be deleted. And this will actually be that fillet, just like we previously saw. And... Um, yeah, this is how you can mainly use remove faces. I hope that you find this video useful. And the first example over here with this cylinder was the most uh, eloquent of this. So we see without that, the profile look like this. So let me know in the comment section, what is your experience regarding um, face remover within Katia, or if you prefer to use a different solution for this. For example, SOLIDWORKS has a decent remove face feature that can also be added directly to solid parts. So that's a different workflow. And if people will be interested in that, I will also create a video for that. So I hope you enjoy this kind of content. I will position a similar video over here on the left side and a subscribe button to the right. So that's it. Thanks for watching.